headed to Dollar Tree and we are going to the peel and stick tile aisle. I love these designs. You can find them year round. I brought home several of them and I am going to make some beautiful crafts you are going to love. We are going to start with this wooden flower that you can find at Dollar Tree currently. I'm going to remove the jute string from it and then we're going to lightly sand the surface. Nothing too hard just to remove any roughness and then we want to wipe it really really well to make sure that the peel and stick tile is going to stick to the surface. This first tile we're going to use has a beautiful design already as is but we are going to be painting it here in just a minute. The way they work is basically you just peel off the back and you stick them like a sticker. It's so easy. Now I am going to patch this up and add several of them. So I'm just going to add the first one all the way to where it covers an entire section of the flower. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I am going to cut off any excess tile. Once I have it separated, I'm going to use the other end to just kind of place it where I need to so that the design aligns perfectly or at least as close as perfect. Then I'm going to keep doing the same thing, cutting off and adding from a second tile so that the entire surface is covered. The wood flower is almost covered and we are just going to flatten it out and smooth out those edges. I'm going to use my sanding block and I'm just going to sand downward. This is going to remove any excess paper from the sides and also smooth them out. I'm just going to roughen up the surface just to take a little bit of the sheen off and we're going to give it two coats of Waverly Chalk Bin in the white. You can use as many as you need. We are going to lightly distress it once it's dry so I'm not looking for perfection. This tiny little grapevine wreath I get on Amazon and they come a ton in a little pack. Now this is a bag that I have with tons of little greenery parts that just fall off of bigger pigs. I'm going to take several and we are going to create a tiny little mini wreath. I'm going to hot glue these little pieces all around the tiny grapevine. Now that the flower is fully dry, I'm going to lightly sand the surface. I don't want to remove a lot of the paint. I just want some of that textured design to really pop. So I'm just going to use my sanding block and sand in a circular motion until I see enough through. I'm going to wipe it and dust it really well. And then we are going to take some burlap ribbon and cut off several pieces. It was a little too thick, so I'm just going to cut off pieces that are about an inch thick. With one of them, I am going to make a very simple bowl, tie it in the center with some jute string, and then we are going to cut off the excess and we are going to hot glue it to the top of the wreath. How cute! Now we're going to take the other piece and we're going to hot glue it to the back of the wreath. This is so that we can hang the entire piece from it. We're going to add hot glue to the wreath and then place it right in the center. We're also going to hot glue the burlap ribbon onto the flower. I'm going to add these cute little white flowers right in the center to finish everything off. And look how stunning this is. You can use any color combination you want, but I love this one. What do you think? Let me know. For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take four of these wooden hearts from Dollar Tree. You can find them currently in their Valentine's Day section. I'm going to remove everything from it, the little hanging plastic piece, as well as the sticker from the back. I did the same thing to the rest of them, and then we're going to lightly sand these as well. We're just going to remove any rough surface. We're going to do the edges and the top. And then, of course, we want to wipe them well because we want to make sure that the peel and stick tile is going to stick very nicely. For these, we are going to use these silver ones that are gorgeous. Where again, we're going to remove the back and we're going to place them right on top. Now, I can only do two full ones, so we're just going to place them on opposite ends. And then we're going to use my blade knife once again to remove the excess. I'm going to do the same thing to the other two. The way these hearts are shaped is that they have a curve on the outside, so it's not a straight edge. So once I cut off the excess tile on the other two, we are going to sand it down. But this time we're going to sand it down using my electric sander. This is going to remove all that excess paper and it's going to do two things. It's going to give me a smooth edge, but it's also going to distress those edges very nicely.
and look how cute that looks so distressed so smooth edges love it we're gonna leave the wood tone as is i did the same thing to the other three and now they all look pretty closely similar we're going to take some Dollar Tree Valentine's Day ribbon. This one has a burlap style to it with little tiny red hearts. Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to line up all the hearts vertically, and then I'm going to cut off a piece of the ribbon that I think is going to go well. Make sure that the hearts of the ribbon as well as the hearts match the direction. Now we're going to hot glue the ribbon to the back of the heart, and I am going to leave one inch in between each heart. At the top, we are going to loop the ribbon, hot gluing it in place, and this is where we can then hang it. Dollar Tree currently carries these little felt hearts, and they are stickers. They're really nice for crafting. I'm going to take four of them of the larger size because they come in different sizes and different colors. We're going to take four of the red ones, remove the back, and place them directly in the center. This is going to really make everything pop. It's going to complement the ribbon, and it's just going to look nice and festive. Now that everything looks very nicely, we are going to add some greenery. I've had this pick for a while and I'm just going to start cutting it. I believe I got it maybe at the store at home. I don't remember. It's been with me for a while, so I'm just going to cut off a few little branches, hot glue them to the top of each heart, making sure that each of them are facing opposite ways. Now to cover up the little cutout stem and some of the glue, I'm just going to add a tiny little leaf right in the front of each one this is going to clean it up and make it look very nice and professional love the way this one turned out it's one of my favorites i love the festivity of it but yet so simple let me know what you think For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to take one of these circles from this arrangement. I've used the other two and I have this one left over. I'm going to remove the paper covering from it and I'm going to lightly sand it just to remove and soften everything out. We're going to use this beautiful tile from Dollar Tree and it has a bluish kind of silver tone to it. Again, we're just going to remove the back and we're going to place it right on top. We're going to take my blade knife once again, remove the excess, and then we're going to sand down those edges as well as the roughen up the surface. That way it's just going to be able to adhere to the paints very nicely. We're going to put that to the side to dry. We're going to take one of these tiny little mini wreaths from Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, and we're just going to need one for today. We're also going to take this beautiful Buffalo Check red and white style ribbon from their Valentine's Day collection. We're going to wrap the entire wreath with it, securing in the beginning and at the end with some hot glue. Once the ribbon was securely in place, I'm just going to cut off the excess and we're going to bring in some foam from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut off a piece, maybe about an inch thick, and we're going to poke two holes and thread some uh, pipe cleaner through it. We're going to add hot glue to the right side of the wreath and we're going to add it and then tie it in the back. This is because we're going to add some florals and I want something to be able to hang on to that floral. I'm going to cut off the excess pipe cleaner and then we're going to add the circle piece right onto it. We are going to distress it first. Again, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. Lightly distress it to reveal some of that texture. Hot glue it to the foam. And then we're going to add more of that greenery pick that we added earlier. Where these are little larger branches. We're going to add it right onto the foam behind the wooden round. Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to add one of these love pieces that you can find at Dollar Tree currently. It's a wood cutout. And it has a kind of like a glittery golden tone. It is gorgeous. I used one recently and I love it. They come three in a pack. We're going to hot glue it right onto the center of the circle. Now, I do want to add some more of those felt hearts, but this time we're going to add small ones. We're going to have four of them, just tilt them in different directions. And one of them is going to overlap the edge. We're just going to cut off the X's and I think it just added beautiful color tone to it. Now, I do want to add some white little flowers. I just felt like it was missing something. 
So I'm just going to add one from the front and the bottom. And I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. You can add this to a cabinet door, to a door, to wherever you want. What do you think of this one? For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with this wooden round. Now, you can use Dollar Tree's wooden rounds, but this one I got a long time ago at the Target Dollar Spa, and it's a little thicker and it's double-sided. We're going to paint the front side. This is the wooden tone one with some Rust-Oleum chalk pen and the linen white. I'm going to do a couple of coats. Once it was dry, I'm going to take this beautiful tile from Dollar Tree. We're going to place it right in the center. It has a beautiful design of a butterfly, and I love the colors. It's going to stick it right in the center and then we're going to make a little swag for the top we're going to use some of this greenery i believe this one is also from at home and then some purple flowers from dollar tree we're just going to take a few branches of each join them together with some white jute string and then we're just going to attach it to the top of the butterfly by stapling it the wood round is thick enough that it does allow for staples to be attached and not go through it now we're going to add a beautiful sunflower right in the center. It's just going to make everything pop and truly bring everything together. And then add some jute string right there to the top so that we can hang it. And that's it. What a gorgeous wood round. So easy, so beautifully designed. Love the way this one turned out. Let me know what you think. I have another video here for you, my friends, with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.